One of the things I personally love about working in this industrial technology and life sciences sector is that our companies tend to be a little bit under the radar. They tend to be the businesses behind the curtain that are enabling some of the higher profile or more well-known consumer brands to execute at extremely high levels. Battery was founded back in 1983 as an early stage focused investment firm. That legacy very much informs how we work with our companies today whether we own 10% of the company or whether we own 100%. In all circumstances, we are partnering with the management team and in cooperation, trying to get the best out of that business and that opportunity. When we're evaluating potential investment, we're looking for a company that's got a culture of innovation, strong, fundamental, underlying technology. When you have those two elements together, you typically have a very strong reputation and brand in the market. And that's gonna be you know, just a kind of a fundamental layer. You may not appreciate all of the impacts that some of our businesses have on the way things run or the way products are made or the, you know, the food you consume or the drugs that make it through a particular pipeline, but our technologies are really enabling a lot of that research and science and quality control, uh, and that's exciting. Battery has a long history of a research-driven investment thesis and really trying to be an expert in the markets that we invest in. Uh, and that's really no different for our industrial technology practice. I was managing director of LabTech when it was acquired by um, Battery. I've got a lot of experience of the life science industry. I personally haven't done um, many acquisitions. Together we built the team initially focusing on the commercial side and we transformed the sales and marketing part of the business, uh, put in a new leader and then built out a whole new uh, sales team. And then we also had to build a finance organisation from scratch. Uh, Battery helped us to do that. That was because we were carved out of another business. We often work with companies that are founder or family owned and over the years we've come to understand and appreciate what some of the challenges and concerns that many of those founders or management teams might have with the transition of ownership or with the um, introduction of a new partner or stakeholder in the business. We try to leverage the experience that we have in that respect when we're working with those companies today. I've had many times through the last few years of COVID difficulties and supply chain difficulties and restructuring difficulties where Jesse and the guys are interested. How's the morale? How are the people doing? What have we done? Could we do something special, you know, a bonus for them at the end of the year? I didn't see that in the large corporations in the U.S. and I was surprised to see it in private equity and I find it quite refreshing. And I think they, they really trust their operators and CEOs to, to run the businesses and that's, that's very important to me. I think companies choose to work with us because they appreciate the depth of experience that we have working with businesses across a variety of industrial technology and life sciences businesses. They appreciate that we've done that across multiple geographies and oftentimes our approach to building businesses involves growing internationally which is a big part of companies' uh, growth strategies when they're serving a global customer base. One of the things that I think with Battery that to me makes them a little bit unique in the private equity uh, space is I like the way they focus on bringing some of these kind of founder-led smaller companies together in, in niche industries that that maybe on their own just don't really have a chance to accelerate their own growth. But by pulling them together, they allow those companies to really grow quickly. And I was looking for a company that, that sort of landed in the middle between those things, where there was interaction and support, but also freedom to operate the company uh, myself. Having completed over 60 transactions, our mission is to identify great companies and then determine that we can help those companies become even better by providing additional resources to help them grow. We want to be a helpful partner where we can without kind of overstepping that boundary. So uh, we're, we're typically very engaged at the board level and on uh, large sort of strategic corporate decisions. And, and one of the biggest areas of, of value add for our team is really developing the relationships on the acquisition front and ultimately executing those acquisitions and providing capital 
and, and sort of shepherding the company through that process of integrating and, and building a business through, through acquisition. I would say actually there's really not a formula in terms of how we, we approach uh, you know, each situation. We want to find great companies and, and ultimately those companies are going to have great people and we want to partner with them, enable them and put them in a situation to be more successful for the long term.